Wayne County judge today shocked the courtroom when he turned over control of the long-delayed Ambassador Bridge Gateway Project to MDOT. 7 Action News anchor Stephen Clark is here to explain why he made that decision. Stephen? Well, Wayne County Judge Prentice Edwards was simply tired of waiting for the vital project to finally get done. Now, to refresh your memory, the Gateway Project began eight years ago, designed to move bridge traffic out of neighborhoods and speed the crossing, especially for commercial truck traffic in and out of uh, Canada. But in all of this time, the Ambassador Bridge Company and MDOT have been nothing but fighting over the project. Well, a month ago, after being jailed for contempt, bridge owner Maddie Maroon finally agreed to tear down what has been built so far and get on with the project. But in court today, Judge Prentice decided he'd had enough, and he turned over control to MDOT, ordering Maroon to pony up $16 million to help them get the work done. Bridge Authority Attorney Godfrey Dillard was clearly frustrated. I think we had very productive meetings with the engineers. We had approval of preliminary construction drawings for 11, 12, 13, and 19. The engineers were, were, were proceeding in an appropriate manner. We had agreements. We gave them a, a, a milestone schedule which shows that the project completed in 16 months. Construction would be starting in three or four months. During today's hearing, an MDOT attorney even said they were cautiously optimistic that the bridge company was finally making progress. But for Judge Prentice, it was clearly too little, too late. Now the question is, can MDOT get past its own bureaucracy and get this project done any faster? Carolyn?